you guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the 2022 Pure Eye Show in the Fluid Amper booth. And I'm joined by Paul Savinicki of Paul's High Performance. And this right here is a 7.3 liter Ford Godzilla engine, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Paul, thanks so much for giving yes. us a little bit of Good time here today. Back. Absolutely. You know, we swung by the Fluid Amper booth here, saw the Godzilla engine, and uh, we're told that you were the man behind it and uh, wanted to know a little bit more about the build. So, if you could, just kind of walk us through uh, what you got here. Yeah, so we started with a production truck engine, that's basically what they are, and uh, we decided we could see what we could do, so we were the first in the 10s, the first in the 9s, and the first in the 8 second wow. with a production engine. Now those weren't all stock components, sure. at the end we ended up at 883 at 152 miles an hour in a 3400 pound 2010 Cobra Jet. Wow. To get there, yeah, it has a camshaft in it, a custom camshaft. We, you know, we have uh, custom valve springs, uh, forged valve pistons, we got molar rods, but it's stock factory bearings, stock factory rings, stock factory bore. Uh, we do have an electric water pump on it, but we have headers. This, of course, doesn't have headers on it, but we have headers on it. Yeah. But to get the main performance out of it, we, we wanted to go nitrous, and we wanted to do a, a dry kit. We've never really worked with a dry kit before, so nitrous outlet has been very instrumental with us for getting this all to work correctly. Yeah. You have to have the right components and you have to have a partner. So we spray nitrous in the throttle body and then we have a direct injection kit that we bring in seven tenths of a second later. Okay. And it we make our own atmosphere. So it's very easy on hot, hot days when you know we're in the summer racing. So it makes it really good for racing to make the same power all the time. Right, right. Yeah, this is a little bit more unique. You know, obviously a lot of folks are starting to get into the Godzilla stuff, but uh, you know, you don't see too many nitrous uh, powered ones. Yet, so. <laughs> yeah, everybody's doing turbo yeah. and supercharger. Yeah. Well, we've used nitrous before, but to do a dry kit and then have control, we're using Fuel Tech, okay. and they have the best control system we feel on the market for us. So, and then we're of course fly by wire. Yeah. So we're able to monitor how it comes in, when it comes in, and it's just a smooth hit. Uh, yes, when we leave off the trans brake, you know, it's really, yeah. you know, we get 1.16 60 foots, and so it's, it leaves hard. Of course, it's big cubic inches, yeah. and uh, they designed the whole kit, the whole system for us, so. That's awesome. Dry kit, fuel tech, yeah. number one. Yeah, very good. Now, Paul, you were talking about some of the other internals. Uh, is the crank a stock piece, or is yes, that Yes, it's all stock. Okay. Just balanced for yeah. the weight that we're running. Yeah, yeah. obviously we're in the fluid amper booth, so you got the damper here out front. Yes. Yeah, very good. Anything else on the engine that, we, that we're leaving out that you guys had, uh, had done yourselves? So, of course, we make the electric water pump plate. Okay. We've got block-off plates. Yeah. It's hard to see on the side of the engine, but these have a great big oil cooler. It takes seven inches of room. Ours is three, so it bolts right on. Same all ring, same bolts. It all you know, it all bolts right on. Yeah. So real simple. Awesome. The other thing, of course, we do is our timing chain sets, and we can take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the timing chain sets. You know, so what, we wanted to get rid of the VCT. I mean, for racing applications, the Ford production stuff is good, but this is not in a truck. So with that kind of power, we're 1,100 foot pounds of torque and a thousand horse. So with that, the stock components are not designed for it. So we end up coming up with a dual roller timing chain set that's adjustable. Mm -hmm. And then we have a single roller set that you can just bolt right in. Yeah. Our dual kit, you have to have profile the inside of the cover because, of course, it's that thick, you know, not this thick. Right, right. So. Very good. And then specifically, what, what set does this one run? This, we run the dual roller and okay. everything because that way we can tweak the cam exactly. Well, this runs on 117 and a half. That's premium for what we have, for what yeah. we designed the cam for. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Now, Paul, you're saying that the Cobra Jet is running uh, mid to high eight second yes. times? 
Yes. About how much horsepower do you think this, this engine is getting uh, with and without the nitrous? Without the nitrous, of course, we have the chassis torque converter, tranny, gear ratio set for the nitrous. Yeah. It would go low nines, or excuse me, low tens, high nines, naturally aspirated, with nothing on it, if the chassis was set up for it. We've already kind of been close to there, but we didn't go through the whole chassis to change it just for one set and say, hey, we went nine seconds, naturally aspirated. <laughs> the other way, uh, you know, nitrous. Yeah, and and what kind of horsepower level do you think you're so at? So that's at 1,100 okay. and 1,000. Okay, very good. Well, certainly impressive. Certainly looks awesome. And uh, let us know if there's anything else that we're leaving out. But yeah, again, no, I think that's good, Greg. Thanks for engine builders. Thanks for coming to PRI. Absolutely. And doing our engine and the appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks to Fluid Damper. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, make sure you're checking out Fluid Amper if you haven't already. Make sure you're checking out Paul's High Performance. And of course, please check out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.